And final aerosurface checks of the orbiter's aerosurfaces are being completed. And this is verifying the orbiter's hydraulic systems. And the main engines are being gibbled for a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. And all is going well for today's launch. This mission carries a crew of seven. And in the payload bay rests the Life and, life and Microgravity Space Lab. And final pressurization of the liquid oxygen tank located inside the external tank is underway. CLC-OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Didn't work. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Inside this uh, tank is about 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run the orbiter's three main engines. Flight crew, OTC, close them off your visors and initiate O2 flow. Have a great flight and have more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Thanks a lot, Roberta. We got the visors down to pseudo two on, and we are going to have a good one. Launch operations continue on schedule. Today is the Space Shuttle Columbia. Soon we'll begin its 17-day international mission to conduct life and material science experiments in space. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. T-minus one minute, 15 seconds. T-minus one minute and counting. Everything is still looking good for the launch of Columbia from Kennedy Space Center this morning. This will be an on-time launch at 10.49 a.m. Eastern Time. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia on an international life science and microgravity mission. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia. Houston Columbia is in the roll program. Roger roll, Columbia. Columbia completes the roll to place the shuttle in a head-down, wings-level position.